You can't hear me? Lisa, do you hear her? Kim, I can hear you. So anyway, so you guys can unmute and mute? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Can you guys mute and unmute and talk whenever you want? Yes, I yeah, can yeah. if you can hear me. Okay, so everybody has, like, the opportunity to talk if they need to? Yeah. I'm just trying yes. to make sure that it's set up correctly. Unless they're already server muted. I can hardly hear. Well, I can mute and unmute. Majority of people don't want to talk, probably. They probably just want to sit and listen to the bullshit. I am server muted. Let me out. Some of us are server muted. Water, can you guys see if you can talk? Because it's all the screen. Can you hear me? Or, uh, has Hello. Can you hear me? Making that noise. Yeah, I'm unmuted. I'm unmuted. Okay, I'm so not unmuted. Right. Hello, I'm unmuted. What's the server muted? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Uh, server mute means like an we can, we can hear for you, Lisa. I guess I'm still muted. What does server muted mean? It means if you didn't mute yourself. Hello? Then, then you, were modded, you were muted by a mod. If you did not mute yourself, you got server muted. Okay. Hello? I'm can you hear me? Myself, Hello? But I can't hear me. Can you hear me? And there's a yes. lot of background yes. noise for someone. <laughs> Hello? Can we just leave Hello? people, sir? Muted and um, we can hear you, Lisa. Lisa talk. I agree. Yeah, we hear you. Lisa. Yeah, can we just let Lisa talk and not focus on all of us talking? Yeah, just go ahead, Lisa. Okay. Um, why is that going up the top of the screen? Um. Okay. Everyone should be Thank muted. You. For Lisa. Thank you, everybody, for coming and even caring about what's going on. Um, I want to start off by saying that um, I apologize to everybody. Uh, Monday was was my fault. Um, I chickened out, for lack of a better word. Um, you know, which I know everybody figured that. Where'd I go? Sorry, my screen. I chickened out. Um, I didn't get in the car. Um, the tab that I am going to go to, okay? Um, one more thing needed to be... And like I said, you just can believe this, not believe this, take it how you want. But one more thing needed to be signed from my methadone clinic. Um, I did that yesterday. I was down there for two hours. Um, they needed a, which anybody who's been in, you know, methadone knows what I'm talking about. 
uh, that rehab needed a, I forget what they called it, but they said that no matter what status I leave on, um, meaning if you leave, you know, against medical advice, you finish it, whatever, that they will take me back regardless. <laughs> they need a like written out statement saying that or else they said the nurses won't like take you or approve it at the rehab. So that was the last piece we needed. We got it faxed over yesterday. Um, so pretty much I'm just waiting for them no. to kind of book the bus, no. to be honest, and let me know no. what it is. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, <clears throat> um, get out. Whether everybody thinks this time I'm going to go or not, like I said, that's your opinion. That's up to you. But um, I did have a dream on Sunday night, which I'm going to share this. Um, and for some reason, you know, I know it's a like laughing joke that everybody thinks that, you know, I don't love my kids or care about my kids. And, um, you know, since my son got taken, I kind of, you know, I, I love my kids all my heart, but I put it in the back of my mind. You know, they're always there, but I did. I was mad about it. Yeah. I was angry. I was yeah. upset. I was hurt. Right. So I kind of just put it all the way in the back and just, you know, I had Abby when I was 16. Right. And I, you know, then I had Nicole and I had cold. Ju I've, I've had kids since I was 16. And been raising them, okay. Um, so pretty much it was just, you know, oh my god, my own place, you know, party time, you know, no kids, nothing, you know, do whatever um, I want, party time, right? Wow. But <laughs> for some reason, the last about two, three weeks, it's kind of like hit me like a ton of bricks to where the pain is not numb anymore yeah and um it just it can't be numbed anymore it's it's past that point and um as much work as i put into you know other things and social media and stupid shit i need to start putting where it needs to be which is um fixing things before it's too late way too late um, can all of you people who are not muted mute and if not you need to be removed Sandy so, Rambo or whatever that's her name she's the one that needs to mute up I can hear her more than I can Lisa sorry Lisa that's okay I'm trying to <laughs> hey Lisa how I'm so sorry to interrupt you. It's me, Kane. I, I got to go to work, but I was wondering if you could send me a message. I wanted to send you a little something to get a little bit of food. Is there any way you could send me an email so I could... I try to PayPal you. It says you're not accepting donations or money. Is there anywhere else I could send it before I go into work? Um, I'll, I'll email you. I have your email, I believe. It's Kane Catalan Jr. at iCloud.com. Okay. I'll, I'll I'll message you. Thank you. All right. Have a good day, and I'm proud of you. You're amazing. Okay. You too. Thank you. All righty. Bye, Queen. So much. Bye. Okay. Sorry about that interruption. Um, like I said, that's that's I'm I, I'm not over here asking for anything. Um, the rehab's not going to cost anything. Um, if the they do what they did the last time which was have us pay for the ticket and then they reimburse it because people don't show up like i did on monday um my parents will take care of that somebody will take care of that i'm not going to ask for that um there's there's no cost i'm not asking i'm just trying to explain like because i don't nobody understands that if i come on social media and i you know, they're like, oh, she never talks about her child. She never cries about her child. Yeah. Well, if I come on and I let people know that it bothers me if you talk about my child, they're all going to talk about my child. You know, that's what happens. So you have, you cannot. I try not to really address anything, to be honest, because anything I address, it just gets 
flipped and um you know it, it just it's crazy like nobody really realizes and it is my own fault and my dad tells me that anytime I complain or cry he says you know it's your own fault for getting on there in the first place and he's right but um you know I just I don't know if it's possible that you know things will never be the same between me and my kids ever um especially me and Jace but um I'm hoping if I maybe start to do things and show him that, you know, because right now I know he's thinking, you know, mom just doesn't care. And I'm hoping that he remembers, you know, the real me and not this me from the past five months. But um, I don't know. I don't remember when I was 11, you know. Um, but I, I think my kids deep down know, you know, that I love them. Um, I hope, I know Abby and Nikki do, um, deep down. I mean, they're distancing themselves for reasons that I accept, but I, I don't know. But like I said, that's what's going on. I don't really, like I said, have a date. Um, but that's just what is happening right now and what happened um, and I just, you know, yesterday when I was on at the clinic and I got upset on the live, it wasn't really about anybody saying shit. It kind of was, but like I said, it's more like I just been behind the scenes. Like I said, I don't know. It's hit me like a ton of bricks the past week where I just cannot numb this pain anymore and kind of don't even want to, to be honest. Like, if that makes sense to anybody who's in recovery, like, I don't even want to try to numb it anymore. I just want to fix it. Um, it's old. It's played out. Even for me, to be honest, it's been played out. But, you know, I came on and I did that live and I said, you know, everybody who gets on here and has been getting on here saying, you know, we've offered Lisa a free ride. And she in Florida and this place and that place and she won't take it. I'm like, if you guys, I've never got that offer personally, but I'm like, if you guys do know of anything or have that resource, please reach out. And we just got a bunch of troll shit, to be honest. One person reached out to my sister, um, but we talked to them a couple times. It was forty five thousand dollars to go private pay. No scholarship. I mean, I can't afford that. Nobody can afford that. I couldn't even raise that. I mean, that's crazy. I wouldn't even want to pay that, to be honest. But forty-five grand for a month. Um, so I didn't get any opportunities off that. So I'm back to my Bowling Green or White Deer Run, you know. And that's okay. That's okay. It's getting done, you know. But that's what's happening. <laughs> Did you really call all the places that were posted in the resources channel? We called. I mean, Kim could let you know a little more. I know me and her three way to about 20. I don't know how many were actually posted. But we three way probably about 20. Because when we were on the phone, she'd be like, all right, we got to call this other place. And then just kind of three way them, you know. Lisa, did you call Cynthia? Cynthia. Yeah, the lady that Tech gave you. She has a bed wa waiting for you downtown. All you have to do is walk in. Who is this? My name's Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi. I'm also in recovery, what? so I get it. But no, uh, Tech reached out to you with a number from Cynthia, and she has a yeah. bed waiting for no, you downtown. I, I have no. Cynthia's number. Um, in my phone, I believe, so I can get my contacts synced up. Um, I talked to Tech after I did that live. We know Billin's been trying to reach you. Okay.
I did. I mean, I don't know. I did email villain yesterday. I mean, I'm not going to say what was talked about, um, but I did. I did reach out to her. She can probably confirm that when she goes live later. But we did speak. This, yes. This isn't your first go around in recovery. No. You know what to do. You don't exactly. need advice from millions of people you don't know. Just I know. go get help, dude. I you agree with it. you. I 100% and that. Like I said, I, I'm i not even asking for advice from them or money or, you know, help. I'm just trying to, you know, let them know kind of, honestly, the truth of what is going on and what's been going on. You know what I mean? Sort of, if that makes sense. Nothing exciting, nothing, you know, extreme, just that right there of what sort of has been going on and what would make it different this time, you know? Because everybody says, that, oh, what makes it different than all the other times? Well, I wasn't ready all the other times, to be honest. I thought I was, you know, but I feel a lot of the time like it's past the point of fixing it, you know. But the more it goes on, you know, I just keep looking back and thinking, damn, if I would went that time it wouldn't have been, or if I'd have went that time, it wouldn't have been, you know, so I, I got it at some point, just stop and go. And then I won't be looking back saying if, you know what I mean? I would have. Well, and Lisa, there's also a rehab in Meadville. I know you're familiar with Meadville. Yes. There's a know, rehab up there as well. Do you know what the name of it is? I, give me two seconds and I can tell you. Okay. No, I'd appreciate that. Cause <clears throat> we lived up there for and five, just six so years. You know, Lisa. Yes. It's never too late. Never too late. Never too late. You got this, Lisa. You know, I appreciate it's true, Lisa. Lisa. It's you never know, I, I Lisa, do. it's called French Creek Recovery Center. The one in Meadville. It okay. used to be the turning point I've been in Franklin. For 13 years. You can do it. Hello? It's called Hello. French Creek Recovery Center. In French Creek. What would you say it was called, honey? It, it used to be Turning Point in Franklin. Okay, they yeah, moved I to Meadville. I, I do know Turning Point. Yeah, I heard of that because I went to uh, they closed. Greenfield Methadone Clinic. Okay, they closed and okay. moved to Meadville, and it's called French Creek Recovery Center. Okay, okay. And they take your insurance. I work for Medicaid. They take PA Medicaid. And they will pick you up. Really? I mean, my dad would take me to Meadville, no problem. You know? I mean, they'll, they'll, they'll come right to your house and pick you up. And they take you home. I would definitely, I mean, Meadville would be like uh, terrible flashbacks, a big cold, but I would definitely do it, you know? You get to the point where you get tired of it and you just don't care where you go. And I That's, don't think, yes. yep. and, yeah. and I've been there myself where I'm like, I don't give a fuck, put me somewhere as long as like it, it's in God's hands, not mine. Because you can trying to control everything, figure it out. It, it's, it's screaming, I still want power and control. And you don't know how to do anything right now. You can't help yourself. So you need somebody to help you. Your counselors can do that. I'm sure all of Everybody, what they're telling you, the counselors have been told you that. Yeah, I my counselor. Yeah, my counselor literally said that to me yesterday. She said, "You know, you've lost everything." You know, she said. So I think the TikTok and the using is the only thing deep down you feel like you can control that, and that's why no matter what they take or no matter what they threaten you with with going on the social media, you still go back. You know what I mean? Because you feel like. You can have control over that. And I'm like, maybe. I don't know, you know. But it's it's to the but point I like, where I, I open like my eyes and I say, I don't even want to go do drugs. I don't want to go do this. I don't want to wake up and do this. You know what I mean? Like, it's there. It's been there for, like, two weeks, you know. I'd like to know when I'm getting my money back for Shadow. 
like people are being all nicey nice with this stuff and I get it, but you screwed a lot of people over. Yeah. And let's not, let's not all lie to each other here. If you wanted to go to rehab, Lisa, you would walk into a rehab today. I mean, there are and Lisa, something I did want to add, just ask is I noticed you talk about what makes this time different for you. You just seem so sure, you know, and, and I understand, but like, I just don't want to get your insight. What is different for you? Yeah, Happy Wing, that was really rude how you just talked over the other person that was talking. I didn't hear anyone else talking. I also think Lisa dipped out, so. Y'all ran her off. I don't even see her in here anymore. Oh, it was me that was talking, and I just had a simple statement, which was, like, if she wanted to go, she'd go. There are plenty of places. We were all giving her information that an ego easy Google search can produce. So, our counselors have gave her that long before. So, let's not act like we're helping her because we're not. Um, I'm going to be real. Can only help her at this her point. Out. And your money, no, you might I'm as well just say, forget it. Lisa's ass is not doing anything for her. I'm going to be real because people do this all the time. And we, yeah, that's how their cycle gets repeated. She doesn't need people to just. I just, I'm pr like, be proud of her when she goes because she, oh, she's said this fifty thousand times. I was no, absolutely. I was trying to send her money. Everybody keeps talking over me, so thank you. Just I mean, like she keeps begging for food money when she knows damn well her parents be feeding her. Like, let's all be real. She needs to stop being coddled. Yeah, yeah. Who, who offered her money right in the middle of two yeah, seconds? Yeah, well, I was going to say, she's, she's reaching out to that guy that offered her money, and she's oh, not in here he's, anymore. Yeah, um, he's long gone. Like, and the thing is, is that he gave out his personal information. Yeah, everybody should email him, because that's ridiculous. Like, two seconds and after someone he was offered, <laughs> offering her Can money. Can someone put his email pain. in the chat? Because it I was pain. Obviously, in the chat, she barely was even in here, and he was offering her money. Like I know, a lot of you guys have been scammed by Lisa, and you guys have given her money, and you know, on the guys that you, uh, on the the premise that you thought it was going to help her. And I understand that you guys Google. are very curious about when you're going to get your money back. Google I would be pass too. my text. I'll just tell you right now, you're not getting your money back ever. No, it, you're never going to get your money, Pa. I mean, if you gave her you know, money for sure. Shadow was stupid people anyway. Yeah. I mean, why would it's you say We know where the money is going. Money money for dogs. If you give her money, you know where it's going. For real, exactly. You don't give a drug addict money, yeah. no matter what they do. Don't let it steal your money and help you look for it. Why is there anyone calling the police? Does anyone know? Did Lisa leave? It's illegal. She left. Yeah, I mean, she Lisa left. left. The moment yeah. that girl asked Boy. her when she was getting her money back. Boy, she said, yeah. You stop it, Mo. No, you all scared her to fuck off. Wait. Wait. Yeah, I, it was me. And I, I have no shame in no. coming in here and calling her ass out on something. Like, y'all are going like, oh, Lisa, you can go. You can do this for the last year. If you're dumb enough to give her money, no, then you no, should. No. Okay. You guys are scared to help any other. If you're dumb enough to give a stranger money on the internet, that's your own fucking fault. Who's not giving her fucking money, dumbass? Shut the fuck up. Holy shit. Fuck you. You're the one who gave oh, her money. You. No shit. I know. Obviously, she's not going to pay me back. Well, but this why that's so about it besides to cause her distress? Yeah. You knew she wasn't going to give you your money back. You <laughs> asked you Let the girl talk. This is exactly what Lisa wanted. She wanted all of you to attack each other so the it comes off of her. She wanted everyone to come in here and hear her new tale. This is exactly what she wanted. She wanted to get everybody in one place so that she can start drama and the attention comes off of her. Yeah. 
And everyone's I calling her. Another round. I wanted her to oh, respond. Oh, 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 you guys. You know, crazy, it. We missed a good chance to get her to recite the serenity prayer that she goes to meetings every night. She should know it. She's not going to meetings. <laughs> You're like, come on. I know. I'm just I wanted to. I wanted to ask her to say it though. Let's yeah, if she was going to say it, she would have done it before in the many we lives. Could have let him pray. Yes, we should have let him pray. <laughs> yeah. Is Kim still in here as well? She was. Is, no, is Kim's Kim gone. Still here? No, Kim, oh, Kim is out. Left? Yes, she's she probably on the phone with Lisa. What? <laughs> is Kim a drug addict as well? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not the same kind of drug. Like a nobody. A different kind of drug, but she's definitely a drug addict. What's her drug? Does it mean, uh, crack. Crack. We like Lisa's crack. Crack. Lisa's crack is like a different breed. Crack addicts are like crazy. They are Kim's, like like Kim's drug of choice is attention. Yeah, it's oh, opiates, basically. Probably fentanyl. Well, how does she afford her habit then? How do you think? She said she gets money anytime she needs it for her boyfriend. Kim Lisa gives Lisa her money. money. She scams Lisa. Right. She takes money that Lisa gets into the uh, cash app, and then she takes it from Lisa. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a deal there worked out, but I mean, she gives Lisa whatever she feels like. What? She lost yeah. her arm from drugs, correct? Her sister said that's not true. But, I mean, we know uh, she lost all her kids from it, so... Kim still has I don't either. Y'all. If you guys look at the pictures, she just has an infection and it needs to be wrapped. It's not strong, but she does still have an arm. Go oh, down, yeah. bro. Go How do you know that? Whoever just said that as long as Lisa and Kim are in cahoots, at least it's never going to go. And that is the closest thing to the truth I've heard this whole conversation. Okay, information. Oh, I almost just tweeted the fuck out. Please know. Okay. information is Literally all the same color. And she's got one arm on the mat and one arm on the portal to get her picture. It's like lens into her chest. So I thought she only had one fucking arm. I was like, where the fuck's the other arm go, man? I had a question. How long did it be the fact that you have to be a little Arms falling off. Please tell me, Nidhu. Hey, you can tell me how long my eye fucking thing. Change the password. You lost your number. If you guys can't if figure it out, you have already have that in running message. Hello? One. Yeah, okay. is Lisa know? Know? Is listen, if you, you guys can't have figure out how to like somebody needs to mute the Everybody's talking over each, each other. Or contact administrator message. Whoever you are, yo, 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 yo. Jesus fucking Christ. Hey, I wanted to ask how long rehab is for Lisa. Usually 30 days, and then they'll have you go to a.